Lightning arrester plays a key role at a solar site. It prevents your solar plant from the thunder lightning from the sky. So, once the installation of solar plant is done, it is also really important to check the resistance of your lightning arrester. So, here is one lightning arrester at one of our site. And once raising the structure and fixing it with GI wires, you should ensure what is the resistance of the GI strip which is properly grounded. So here you can see a pole near one of our site and here is the earthing GI strip coming down from the tip of the pole and going inside one of the earthing pit outside this building. So the device which we'll be using is a earth tester which checks the resistance of the GI strip. It can easily be purchased online. So this is the device which I was talking about and here with the device we get a ferrite core to check the resistance. According to IEEE standard the resistance of an earthing GI strip should be less than 5 ohms. So here the calibrated ferrite cores is telling that the resistance is about 5.2 5 ohms. We have multiple options to freeze and trap variable resistance across different types of wires. So in this case we are going to measure the resistance of a GI strip. Here is the GI strip which I showed you earlier and we are measuring the resistance of this GI strip whether it is properly grounded or not and yes the resistance is below 5 so this is a safe and a perfect grounding the grounding is more than 4 to 5 meters deep done by charcoal and salt with proper copper conducted buried inside the earth hence the grounding is proper and the resistance is quite low